cows. Herds of cows spawn in grassy areas, their most important drop being raw beef, which turns into steak when cooked. Cows will also drop leather, can be milked, and can be bred with hay. Zombies. Zombies deal melee damage, dropping tons of rotten flesh and occasionally armor or weapons if they're holding them. They're also hostile to villagers and will try to kill or infect them, but will burn up during the daytime. Skeleton. Skeletons shoot arrows at you, dropping bones, arrows, and occasionally their actual bow. Like zombies, they may also wear armor and also will burn in the hot sun. Chickens. Chickens are a great food source early on and will also drop feathers for making arrows. Chickens also periodically lay an egg, which has a 1 in 8 chance to spawn a new chicken. They are also immune to fall damage because they will fly down and are bred of seeds. Spiders. Spawning in the dark, these creepy crawlies can climb over walls but are only hostile to you when in the dark. They will drop string and spider eyes. Creeper. This infamous enemy will walk up behind you giving one and a half seconds to run away or you will explode. They will drop gunpowder, but they also have two secret abilities. When struck by lightning, they will turn into a charged creeper. They will now explode much larger, and when their explosion kills an enemy, their head will drop too, this being the only way to obtain mob heads in survival. Their second secret ability is if killed by a skeleton, they are guaranteed to drop a rare music disc. Sheep. These fluffy guys will give their mudden and wool when killed, essential for food and making beds. If you want a lot of wool though, you can shear them which will both give more wool and when the sheep eats grass, it'll grow right back. You can also dye sheep to get that colored wool when killed or sheared. Blaze. Spawning exclusively in the nether fortress, they will rise up in flames shooting fireballs at a player and also attack at melee range. Importantly though, they drop blaze rods, the only ways to create eyes of ender and reach the final dimension. Endermen. These tall and black creatures are very strong and will teleport around but drop ender pearls allowing you to teleport and are also essential to reaching the end. Speaking of which, tons will spawn there but looking at their face will cause them to get angry and start attacking you. Their big weakness is water, where touching it hurts them, but they can also not be shot by arrows. Pig. These pink animals drop pork, serving as yet another early game food source, and can also be bred of carrots, potatoes, or beetroot. Unlike the other farm animals though, they can be given a saddle to ride on, and using a carrot on a stick can be controlled. Unfortunately, they are not very effective. Salmon. Living in the ocean and rivers, these swim in schools of up to 5 salmon, and are a decent source of food. Wither Skeleton. Found in nether fortresses, these taller and black skeletons hold a stone sword and inflict a withering, being a pretty brutal mob to fight in the nether. They will drop bones, coal, and most importantly, a rare wither skeleton skull for spawning the wither, which I will get to soon. Parrot. Found in the jungle, you can tame these little birds of seeds where they will follow you and ride on your shoulder. Do not feed them a cookie or they will die instantly, but do play music because they will start dancing. Piglin. Living in the nether, they will try to kill you unless you're wearing at least one piece of golden armor, in which case they are peaceful. You may barter with them by giving gold ingots, and they may trade you some great items such as ender pearls, soul speed books, or fire resistance potions. Horse. Horses are big animals who drop leather when killed, and also also play a horrifying noise. Their main purpose though is transport because horses both jump higher and run faster than the player can. You can also put horse armor on them to increase their defense. Ghast. Ghast are big white balloons flying in the sky who will shoot fireballs at you. With quick reflexes and low ping, you can deflect the fireball and potentially kill it. It will drop gas tears and gunpowder. Mushroom. Living only in the rare mushroom fields, this cow variant can be milked with a bull for an infant infinite amount of mushroom stew. Additionally, it will turn into a brown mushroom when struck by lightning. Shulker. Located in the end city, shulkers hide in a shell to protect themselves and blend in. They will often teleport around and shoot homing bullets which give levitation. They do drop shulker shells though for making shulker boxes which are extremely powerful. Villager. Likely the most complex mob in the game, these guys spawn in villages. During the day, they work and will offer trades for various items. Different workstations give different jobs, but trading the same villager will upgrade him, gaining access to better trades. For breeding, there needs to be at least one place bed not claimed by any villager, and the villagers need 12 food items which can be given by dropping it to them. Villages can be created anywhere with at least two villagers and two beds. Pillager. This evil villager uses a crossbow, hates villagers, and can be found in a pillager outpost. 
captain will occasionally spawn, giving the bad omen effect when killed, which triggers a raid at a village, spawning more pillagers and other scary mobs, which I will get to later. Zombified Piglin. Living in the nether, they are peaceful until you hit one. At that point, all nearby will charge at you, dropping rotten flesh, gold, and their swords. Bees. Living in beehives and nests, they will pollinate flowers and head on back, the only way to obtain honey. Additionally, they deal lots of damage and inflict poison, and like zombified piglins, you hit one and all nearby are enraged. Camel. Spawning in desert villages, these tall animals carry two saddles, allowing two players to ride it at once. The camel is also so tall that most mobs cannot even hit you. Guardian. Living in and around ocean monuments, the fishy type thing charges up a laser beam and will hit you with it. They also have thorns where hitting it will deal damage back to you, but they only drop some fish and prismarine. Elder Guardian. An upgraded version of the Guardian, these have much more health and deal much more damage. Three will spawn in an ocean monument and are vital to kill because they will inflict brutal mining fatigue through the walls. Snow Golem. Basically a joke mob, you can create this with two snow blocks and a pumpkin. It throws snowballs at enemies but deals zero damage and can be sheared to reveal his silly little face. Vindicator. This illager wields an iron axe spawning in woodland mansions and raids. He sprints at players and deals a gigantic amount of damage but on the bright side drops at least one guaranteed emerald. Donkeys. Similar to horses, these can be given a saddle to ride around. They are slower than horses, but make up for it with 15 additional slots when given a chest. They also drop leather and are bred of golden apples or golden carrots. Drowned. Spawning in the water, these swimming zombies are generally a nuisance, but they might spawn with a trident. They will throw it at you and deal a lot of damage, but there is a small chance the drowned will actually drop it, this being the only way to obtain the trident. Additionally, a normal zombie will become a drowned when it drowns, for 30 seconds. Allay. These blue creatures spawn in jails located in woodland mansions or pillager outposts. You can give an allay an item at which point it will follow you and if there's more of that item nearby, the allay will pick it up and bring it back to you. Rabbit. Rabbits spawn in the desert and snowy areas and are pretty difficult to catch. They will drop a raw rabbit, rabbit's hide which is basically useless, and rabbit's foot for jump boost potions. Wandering Trader. These will spawn randomly around players and give trades for rare items that are used usually locked behind certain areas such as cocoa beans or a cherry tree sapling. Evoker. An illager found in woodland mansions and raids, they attack with two spells. One summons giant fangs out of the ground and the other spawns a scary little vex which I will get to later. When killed, they will drop a totem of undying, the only source of it in the entire game. Axolotl. These spawn in lush caves and will help you in fighting nearby drowned. Breeding is done of tropical fish, and there is a rare 1 in 1200 chance of a blue variant spawning. Ender Dragon. The final boss of the game, this appears on the initial end island. 10 obsidian pillars have end crystals on them, which will heal the dragon as it flies near. You can shoot these down and then attack the dragon when it periodically flies down to the ground. When killed, it will place the dragon egg in the center of the bedrock fountain and give a gigantic amount of XP. Sniffer. These do not spawn naturally, but but rather the egg is found by brushing the suspicious sand in a warm ocean ruin. They will occasionally smell their surroundings and dig into the ground, finding the exclusive torch flower seeds or a pitcher pod. Ocelot. This cat runs around in the jungle and will run away from the player like a normal cat. When tamed, instead of becoming a cat, it'll just not run away from the player. Turtle. Found on beaches, turtles can be bred of seagrass where one of the turtles will place eggs. Mobs will try to walk on and destroy them, but if you can get them to have and grow up, they will drop a scoot. Get five of those and you can make the turtle shell helmet which allows you to breathe longer underwater. Warden. When in the deep dark, if you make too much noise, a skulk shrieker will sound. If four of those go off, the warden will climb out of the ground. This both deals the most damage and has the most health out of any mob in the game, so most likely you will die a brutal death. Polar Bear. Spawning in icy biomes, they are peaceful unless you attack first or go near its cubs. Otherwise, it deals a good amount of damage and will drop some fish. Squid. Living in the ocean and rivers, they float around aimlessly. The only thing they're good for is dropping some ink sacs. Silverfish. These pesky little beings will infest blocks and come out when the block is mined. They will then start to break all the nearby infested blocks, which can get bad quickly. Infested blocks only spawn in strongholds and down below in 
Piglin Mountains. Piglin Brute. The stronger Piglins spawn in Bastions with a Golden Axe, and they have a lot of health, charge at the player, and deal heaps of damage. Hoglin. These large pigs are very deadly, have a lot of health, and take zero knockback damage. They will drop pork chops though, being one of the very few food sources in the nether. And also, despite being hostile, they can be bred with crimson fungi. Panda. Living in the jungle, they spawn with different personalities, exhibiting slightly different behavior. They will drop bamboo and killed, and can also be bred with bamboo. Glow Squid. This is just a squid that lives in watery caves deep underground and give glow ink sacks instead of regular ones. Wither. Constructed from four soul sand and three wither skeleton skulls, this serves as the big boss of the nether. It is very tough to beat because it shoots skulls dealing wither damage and halfway through becomes immune to all projectiles. You can also just cheese it by doing it underground, but either way, the reward of the nether star for making the beacon is well worth it. Cave Spider. These spiders are found deep underground inside of mine shafts where their spawners are found. They are smaller than normal spiders, but also give off poison and other than that are largely the same. Tropical Fish. Living in the ocean, these spawn in groups of eight and a half thousands of colorful variants, but sadly they are not very nutritious. Phantom. After not having slept for three in-game days, they will start swooping in from the skies. They only drop phantom membranes, which are used to repair elytras and brew potions of levitation. Slime. These bouncy guys spawn in certain chunks and swamps, dropping slime balls when killed. They have a unique ability where they split into smaller versions of themselves when killed, although the smallest ones don't actually deal damage. Magma Cube. This nether variant of the slime is the same except for being fireproof, jumping higher, and dealing more damage. Also, the little ones will actually hurt you. Wolf. These dogs that spawn in packs of four can be tamed with bones, giving a friendlier face. You can sit them down, and also hitting the enemy will sick all of your dogs onto them. Strider. The only friendly mob in the nether, you can place a saddle on them and use a warped fungus on a stick to control them and walk over lava. When outside of lava, they still function, but get colder and slower. Witch. These evil enemies throw harmful potions at you like poison, slowness, or straight damage. They will also drink healing potions when hurt. One is always spawned in a witch hut, and they drop a variety of brewing items such as glowstone, redstone, or spider eyes. Stray. This skeleton variant spawns in snowy areas, with the only difference being they will inflict snowness for 30 seconds on hit. Vex. This pesky little flying thing is summoned by evokers who despite being small has a lot of health and damage to its name. It can also fly through walls which gets very annoying. Iron Golems. These naturally spawn in villages as the protector of the villagers killing various mobs. The Iron Golem will kill you if you hit it or hit villagers. They will drop some iron if needed early game and you can also make them yourself with iron blocks in which case it will never turn against you. Fox. Spawning in snowy and spruce areas, they love to pick items up in their mouth and run around. They can be bred of sweetberry. Frogs. Living in swamps, they have a special ability where they can eat a slime or magma cube and give a frog light depending on the frog's color. They can also be bred of slime balls. Mule. An infertile offspring of a horse and a donkey, it's in the middle ground between them. It is slower than the horse but keeps the additional storage from the donkey. Dolphin. These happy little creatures living in the ocean will grant you dolphin and grace when you swim nearby. This increases your speed, and if you have Depth Strider on your boots, it increases your speed by a lot. Zombie Villager. This acts as a normal zombie, but can be cured by throwing it weakness, feeding a golden apple, and waiting a couple minutes. This is very useful for starting villages. Ravager. This big behemoth spawns during raids, often with a pillager spawning on its back. It is strong and deals a lot of damage, but has a guaranteed drop of a saddle. Goat. Living in mountain biomes, these animals will ram players, sending them flying on backwards. If you can trick it to ram in a hard block like stone, its horn will come off, which can be used to make various noises. Cod. One of the main fish, these swim in schools of up to nine and are a good food source early in the game. Bats. A purely aesthetic mob, they have no drops, not even XP. They are simply used to make caves feel a little more real. Endermite. There is a 5% chance on a thrown ender pearl for one of these little buggies to spawn. They are very weak, but their main use is that endermen are hostile towards them, making endermites vital for many endermen farms. Husk. This zombie variant born from the desert is the same except for being slightly bigger, will not burn in the daytime, and also inflicts hunger. Cats. Found in villages, they run away but can be tamed with raw fish. You can sit them down, both creepers and phantoms are for whatever reason scared 
scared of them and when you sleep it'll cuddle up a few and will often bring you an item. Zoglin. When a Hoglin travels to the overworld it will quickly become this. Other than the texture change and now being unbreedable they are largely the same. Pufferfish. Living in the ocean they will puff up and give poison when you go near. You can also eat them but you never really should. Llama. Living in hilly areas angering them will cause them to spit at you but it deals basically zero damage. When tamed you can give them a chest to store items in and make them follow you with a lead. An unknown feature is that nearby llamas will also follow you forming a caravan of up to 9 llamas serving as a lot of extra storage space. I'll be making more videos like this so subscribe for more.